Okay, exchange listings are are interesting. And I came across a tweet that talked about what exchange listings can do. And I think it's important to talk about this right now because we see what's happening with uh, KuCoin. KuCoin just had some issues. I think you can see this. You can see this uh, is a tweet. I'll read it out for you. But you can see that we see some spikes in prices. And then we see those coincide with exchange listings. Now, let me read that tweet. Now, I have not independently done this research. So I don't know how far true this is completely, right? BTC trading on all-time high missed the pump. Matic made 300x after BTC all-time high last cycle thanks to centralized exchange listings. Doge with Pepe made 1000x thanks to listing on OKX, Binance, and Coinbase. Tokens that are set to be listed on tier one exchanges soon, right? So then you've got, then you have the chart, the chart that I just showed you now, where you see there's a Coinbase listing first, it spikes up 20x, there's an upbeat listing, then it spikes up 40x, OKX listing spikes up, um, Binance listing spikes up, and, and, and on and on and on and on. Now, we do know that Richard Hart did say that listers do not drive price up. What drive prices up is buyers, right? Those are the ones that drive prices up. And we also do know that Pulse Chain initially did have an OKX listing. So listings are not always uh, this uh, thing that just drives price up. But having said that, I do believe that listings are helpful for cryptocurrencies. Being listed on many tier one exchanges is absolutely helpful. Now, I, I want to talk about this because uh, KuCoin had some issues. They're having some regulatory issues. Now, these re issues come from the because they did not have a KYC program. That's why why they're having issues, right? So now they're being accused of kind of assisting bad people uh, from using their platform because they did not have KYC. Now, I when I look at this, it's I the way I see it is that obviously the law doesn't always work like that, right? The way I see it is that it's not as bad as what happened with Binance. Because on Binance, you had them saying that we're not taking on uh, US customers, but privately in their chats, they were talking about it. Privately, they were saying one thing and doing another. They were actually talking about doing the bad stuff. Now, these people, it's almost like they just didn't do the KYC. And I, I say I sympathize with that because I see a lot of hexagons, pausicans coming against KuCoin now and saying, okay, well, look, we told you so. You were not supposed to use these centralized exchanges. And I agree with that. But I don't think this is such an I told you so moment. And I think it's one thing to come and say we want exchange listings. And then you attack those exchanges. Because I think at sometimes we need to find out which side are we on. Who are we fighting for? Are we on the side of crypto or on the other side? And if we do want these exchange listings, uh, I don't see other communities attacking crypto companies and then at the same time you come and you're surprised why are we <laughs> on the third fourth fifth page well maybe it's because of some of those attacks right so i do think that exchange listings might not be everything but i think that we should be have a little bit of empathy when it comes to these things because pulse chain itself now we have some issues as well now many people will agree that we expect to win all those issues that are going on with the sec but uh I think it's important for us to know whose side we are on and then not cry foul when other people don't come to the support when all when you've been dragging them down this whole time. That's just how things work in my view. So I think that we need to a little bit more empathy towards some of these crypto businesses, understanding that they started at a different time. I mean, a few years ago, yeah, a crypto company would not succeed without having all uh, that had all these programs. That's why most of them. Binance didn't have a KYC program. KuCoin didn't have. The only ones that did, that had the kind of, maybe you want to call it foresight, was uh, even FTX didn't. And FTX was like the darling of crypto. That was the one that everyone endorsed. The only ones that didn't, uh, that uh, you know, that had that from the beginning was Coinbase and maybe Kraken as well. So those are the ones that that were that had a different 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 way of doing things. Anyway, those are my thoughts in in regards to what's happening with KuCoin. I do think that uh, we need some of these exchange listings. So I think we need to be supportive when they do need that support. Thank you guys for watching, and let me know what you think about this next time.